Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about the values equation. Does yours add up? Values are something that each of us were born with. They are our very unique recipe in a way that we show up in this world. Now, values are not something that change over time. They really are who we are. They come with us, and although we can discover and develop them, they essentially are the same throughout our lifetime. When I'm really clear about what my values are and what those mean to me, then it's easy for me to go and create really constructive relationships with people who hold similar values, both in my personal life and in my business life. When I'm forming a team, when I am creating the most high performing team around me that I can, I'm going to make sure that those people have similar values. Having said that, a previous blog that I'll post the link to around leadership styles, those people that I get on with really well and work with really effectively may or may not be of the same leadership style. And that's okay. That's actually the highest leverage point is when they're perhaps a different leadership style. So they see things slightly differently, but we're of a similar value set so that we operate from the same foundational beliefs from the same philosophy. When it is off, when the values are not aligned, it literally feels like constantly having arguments because at a fundamental level, we just simply believe differently in the world. When I go into organizations, it never fails. After I help this organization articulate what their top four or five values are and what those actually mean, Every time they say to me, well, Ali, we have these problem employees or a problem employee, I get those leaders to rate that employee on the top four or five values that we have clarified for them. And inevitably that problem employee only has about two to three of the same four or five values. It's just simply not a values match. That's not a bad person, a wrong person. They're not uh, inherently there to disrupt the team or take the business down. Just the wrong values match. Let them go. Take the time to clarify your own values. This is a process. You are not likely going to get this done in one sitting. I will post some links for you that have some lists of values for you to go through. Now remember, you can only have a top four or five. So this is going to take some time to really cull through the list. The second part of this process is actually articulating in one clear sentence what each of those values means for you. Because I might have a similar value as you do or we say we do, but what it means for you is very different than what it means for me and that's going to create a problem. In business, when you're very clear on your values, this is crucial to you to getting the best people on your team who fundamentally operate from the same place, even though they might be of different leadership styles. It's a process and you can actually use values clarification in the hiring process to make sure that you're attracting the best talent from the similar thinking. How are values playing out in your life and in your business? Do you know what they are? Are you constructively using them to shape your relationships and your organization using values? Leave me a comment on my blog. I'd love to hear how the values equation is playing out for you.